a time. Show me what you got, baby girl. Oh my God. I'm a fan. I would get this again. Oh my God. Are you good? What's on the inside? She's a I expected some nice hefty donuts. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Sorry, my don't mind how I have to bend down because my other one is not working. But I will be eating foods more inspired by Valentine's Day. So some might be heart shaped and some might be pink and red. It's just gonna be the overall inspiration of Valentine's Day. Um, we're starting off the morning drinking my coffee in my nice pink boy bye um, mug because you know another single valentine's day galentine's day and yeah i'm gonna be doing some galentine's day activities with one of my girlfriends today and we're gonna start by making breakfast i'm gonna try making eggs using this heart shaped cast iron whether it works or not is a completely different story because i swear i've tried to use it before and it didn't work but I'm really hoping it does because that's the only idea I kind of had for breakfast today because I didn't want to make pancakes because I will be making pancakes tomorrow because in Canada we have family day which is a holiday and we all get to stay home on a Monday which is fantastic and I'm excited for it. So let's, uh, let's get cooking. I might have put too much. So that's a failure. My flowers though. My dad got for my mom. Okay, so here it is. I mean, avocado toast is avocado toast, but like the heart turned out pretty cute. And it's two halves of a heart, and I put it on um, a gluten free, what is this called? English muffin and avocado, and I have some everything, um, everything bagel seasoning. And I'm gonna finish my coffee and get the day started. I'll try this, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go right where the yolk is. I mean, it's, good. it's avocado toast. It's good. I like it. I forgot how much I like English muffins. I haven't had an English muffin in a really long time, but it's really, really good. I'm actually going to put some effort into my look today. I'm gonna wear a cute outfit. I'm gonna put some cute Valentine's Day themed makeup on, and I will be back for my morning ish, early afternoon. Um, kind of snack. Okay, so I mean, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas, but I'm making this, which is gonna be my snack later on. I'm making a Valentine's Day inspired yogurt, strawberry honey bark. It's a really cute pink color, which is what I was going for. So I just use frozen raspberries and a little bit of strawberries chopped up to make it pink rather than just putting whole fruit in there. And this is now prepared. It's about quarter to nine it's gonna go in the freezer for about four hours so it'll be a little bit more of an afternoon snack but I'm really excited to try it because I've seen so many things on TikTok and they were all very positive so I'm excited to try this and maybe get my family to try it as well okay it's not a Sunday now oh okay Hey guys, so we are going downtown. Alana's here. We're going downtown um, because we wanted to go get some Valentine's Day themed sweets because all the grocery stores and the bakeries near our house are basically empty. Like you had to basically buy stuff like the entire week prior to this day. So we are right now at Starbucks because there's this TikTok drink that is supposed to be like the Valentine's Day theme one. So we're gonna go get that. And then we're going to, what places are we going to? We're going to Cops Donuts that has Valentine's Day themed donuts. And what's the other one? The Roselle or something like that. Ro Ro Rosdale? I don't, I don't know how to say it. Roselle? 
Roselle, and it's just a bakery. And it's just a bakery. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get another coffee. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And I'm actually really excited to try this drink. The problem is with all these drinks, I have to make such like, they're already so complicated and then I need to make my own adjustments because I don't like them as sweet. Does it come lactose free? I mean, I'm sure you can ask for lactose free milk. It's a mocha, so they put milk in it, right? Like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it with, um, with uh, almond milk. Or maybe I'll do coconut or I soy, like I'm not coconut, sure. I coconut, but I feel like since being home, mm -hmm. I don't like the coconut here. Coconut is watery. Coconut milk is like very yeah, thin. but in New Zealand it's not. No, it's thicker? Yeah, like I didn't like almond in New Zealand. I preferred coconut since being home. Yeah, so we're at Starbucks in Vaughan right now, and then we're gonna jump on the highway and go downtown. Wow, this light is hitting my, <laughs> my highlighter so nice. I know you're not. You just moved out. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go cops donuts and Roselle, Rosdale, whatever it's called. Hi, okay, so can I get this is a really weird not weird request, but it's like a TikTok stupid drink. Okay. It's I'm so sorry in advance. You know what? I'm into it. Okay. <laughs> so can I get a grande iced white mocha? No. Okay, you but, but right. yeah, but I but I like how you know that you know this. But can I only <laughs> can I only get one pump of the of the mocha? Sure thing. Um, I'm gonna do coconut milk. All right. I'm gonna do light ice. Okay. And for the sweet cream cold foam, if I could actually get strawberries blended into it, so oh, it looks just, pink. Oh, yes, I saw someone get the other like puree blended into the foam. Right? Yeah, it's so it looks pink. So it's like a yeah. it's like a Valentine's Day thing. I got it. I got it. Now. And that's it. Okay then. And so He's so nice. It's going to be 757. Thank you so much. <laughs> he was so nice. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, I'm really far. Watch where you're going. He didn't even turn his head. He didn't even turn his head. Okay, cool. So, gun comes out. We're gonna test. Let's take a look. I'm really, really excited. Okay, we're gonna stop. Okay. This is how it looks. So pretty. So, this is basically, if you guys didn't hear me when I was ordering, it's a grande iced ice mocha, iced mocha with, um, so I only got one sh one shot pump whatever of the white mocha light ice with coconut milk and it's a cold from it's a vanilla cold foam but I got strawberries mixed into it so it looks pink. Okay. That's yeah. I put a lot of milk in it though, but whatever. Mm. Oh my god! I'm a fan. I would get this again, but I would get it. I think I would get a regular cold foam, not vanilla cold foam. What, it's too sweet? It, it, does, it doesn't eat it. Oh, uh, okay. But the strawberry is really, um, it's really potent, the taste of it. 10 out of 10, recommend. Re like, I feel like this is going to be a drink I would actually really like Keep hot. Keep getting? Oh, And it would be hot. good hot. Mm. If they blended it into just the milk. Yeah. It would be really, really good. Interesting thought. Definitely a, a Valentine's Day tradition this could be. All right, cheers. Okay, so we are on College Street downtown right now. And um, we were originally going to this place for mac and cheese. I know it doesn't fit with the Valentine's Day situation, but we really wanted to try it anyway. So I just wasn't gonna involve it in this video, but we found this really great, um, 
cookie place that we were actually going to try out and it just so happened that while we were going straight to go to this mac and cheese restaurant pickup place we found this place it's called the night baker it's on college street so i'm sitting and waiting in the car and alana's like in line over there she's like trying to go see what's going on i want to see if she's gonna look at me <laughs> wait so yeah we're gonna wait here we're going to have this and i think we're gonna go and we're gonna go like i'm gonna go try to find some a market with some roses and then we're gonna go take some cute little valentine's day photos even though it's already valentine's day we're still gonna go take some cute photos and yeah that's it ah she's here with the goods that was actually pretty fast that wasn't bad <gasps> i'm so excited it so good in here. oh yeah okay Show me what you got, baby girl. Let's see, let's see, let's see. They're like in these. Oh, wow. Yeah. I oh have my like God. An, these are pink ladies. Okay. It's called Gucci. Okay. It has black sesame in it. Nice. Oh, these have so a bay in it. Yeah. And that one was a s'mores. No, campfire. Well, it smells like it. Right? Oh my God. Okay. It's so good. Take a bite. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's see. One? The pink one? No, I want the ube. You do that. I'm oh. all. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I don't think we need mac and cheese. <laughs> this is for lunch and donuts are, are just... after lunch dessert. <laughs> We're gonna start with the pink. We gotta do the pink. Well, they're warm. Uh, Cheers. Your fingers right in the way. Oh. Oh my god. Are you good? What's on the inside? I don't remember. Oh, it's. Look at Pretty that. much like an Italian cookie. It tastes like an it's Italian rose cookie. It's something, rose something. <gasps> uh-huh. Large gooey in the inside too. I'm a fan. Very good. Yeah, this definitely tastes... Well, this tastes like a better version of the Italian cookies. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the Italian cookies, honestly. No? Like the... Mm -hmm. What are they called? I don't know what they're called though. Alright. Well, that was a success. If I ever... Saw one. This is finally me going to a place that I've like screenshotted on Instagram or TikTok, TikTok. And I've actually been there now. So that's good. It would be nice on a day where you can like, it'll be nice when I get to like go and experience it, but good. I like how they're like really creamy inside. All right, we'll see you guys at the next one. Our last half of the day, Cops Donuts in Toronto. This line is ridiculous, but we pre ordered, so we got the goods. I'm ready to go. Pardon? And we can figure out how we're getting into our parking. Yeah, that's a really good idea. So we had to try to find parking that was close to where we are. And we decided on going to Loblaws and we went to go take some photos in the parking lot at Loblaws. So it was fine. We're like, wow, this is really smart of us underground parking our car won't be cold and nothing's gonna get stolen cool um we saw the line to get back into loblaws and it looks like it's at least an hour long do you think we're gonna get stuck or do you think we'll be fine i'm hoping we could sweet talk the security guy and be like we're, can we just like not, not even go up to loblaws can we just like go into the elevator to go down to parking yeah there like has to be a way because because be. what happens if you leave like i don't understand I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. So, peace. Okay, so the donuts we got were from Cox. Um, I've just heard really great things about it. You saw all the over TikTok. like all over TikTok. I've even seen it on Instagram more in the summertime. But since TikTok's been really, really like out and about about getting food, especially in Toronto, it's been the place to be. And then we also got hot chocolate from forget me not which is a little i don't even know what you want to call it, like an independent kind of coffee shop i've seen it a billion times going to clubs obviously when you can't go get it but we went inside and it's actually like a really cute like boho store that sells other things besides coffee and it's like all sweets or like handmade juice yeah it's really cool and like like um coffee mugs stuff like that okay further ado this is why we're here are you ready wow Ooh, uh, 
Oh, okay. Right? All right, Rosé. Cherry Rosé. I don't know which is the Cherry Rosé. I want to say... One. Which one? This one? Sprinkles? Okay, go. Try it. Can we try it? I don't know what Cherry Rosé tastes like. Oh. Are they warm? Pull up. That's really good. Yeah? Can't tell if it's the Rosé, though. Um, I feel like that is the Cherry. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go for the... This one on the other it's just side. A the light pink. I think it's raspberry or strawberry, so that's what this looks like. It's just glazed. <laughs> it's really good though. I'm as I'm uh let's be honest, these are one bite donuts. As I'm blinking, my eyes are watering. <laughs> From the cold or how good they are, they're making me I'm cherry cold. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna try, try the, the cherry root then. Yeah. Okay. No. I think the taste is cherry. Oh! Yeah. Oh! That's good! Mm. These are really good. Okay. Um, did I think they were going to be bigger? They're mini donuts, babe. I didn't know that. When you want to call a place cops, and if we're going to be stereotypical, I expected some nice, hefty donuts. You thought we were going to buy 16 whole donuts for the two of us? Well, I don't know. I might have not paid attention when you said that bit right there. 16 or 32, what do you think? What did I say? I said 16. Yeah. Chocolate. Hot chocolate. I'll oh. try the brown sugar too. I will. Is it hot, hot? Tell me, because I don't like burning my I can't tell. Should I like try it and then tell me so I don't burn myself? It's hot. No, it's not. It's really good, but oh, it's hot. It's hot chocolate. I like drinking things lukewarm. We love good, good, good. Honestly, today has been a, a success. It's not over Sugar for day. either of us. No. It's not. Pizza. No, she's making heart-shaped pizza, and I'm having heart-shaped ravioli. Well, why did I say it like that? Ravioli, Rav ravioli with like a like, like a rosé sauce. All right, time to head home. Hey guys, I just got home. Uh, my parents are cooking. Say hi. You're supposed to have. Okay, so last meal, maybe we'll see. You can't really see it, but it's heart-shaped ravioli. And a, and a rose, rose sauce. Rose sauce, and I'm gonna have, are you gonna have wine with me? No, I had some. You had some, you guys did too? Yeah. I'll wind out. I'll wind out. So I'm gonna have some wine. There's this brand that my friend got me for my birthday. It's called Basque if you're looking for a sugar-free wine. And it's a rosé. It's a crisp rosé. And it's supposed to be good with um, with meals. It's not super so sugary. So it's not like a dessert rosé. It's good for dinner. And yeah, I'm gonna have that. This little snack. Did you guys try this? Oh no, it's starting to melt. I don't understand how you do this. Okay, dinner's ready. Heart ravioli. Can you can you see it's a heart? I'm not sure if you can. But heart ravioli, rose wine. We're gonna try the ravioli now. Is it just regular? It's pretty cool though. Oh, this is really good. Okay. Where's it from? Bretone. Bretone? Bretone. Okay, so it's from Bretone. I'm guessing in Woodbridge. Yes? Mm -hmm. So that's really good. And we'll finally eat the other one. So it's ricotta and spinach. If you can see. This is a good song. My vlogging is great. And that's it. Have some wine. Enjoy your Valentine's Day with whoever you were with. With my family, she's a Mona Lisa. Have a great one, guys. See you in the next one. Later, lovely. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. Her.